Welcome to the KJL Art Sanctuary podcast where we present a captivating series of interviews with visual artists. This platform serves as a space for these gifted individuals to reveal their distinctive perspectives, creative processes, and artistic journeys. Through engaging and insightful conversations, our podcast delves into the motivations, inspirations, and challenges that shape the work of each featured artist. Offering listeners a profound insight into their craft, we celebrate the richness and diversity of artistic expression, showcasing a varied array of visual artists. Join us as we invite audiences to explore the intricacies of different artistic styles, mediums, and influences. From painters and sculptors, to photographers and mixed-media artists, each interview provides a glimpse into the creative minds of these individuals, offering valuable insights and inspiration for both aspiring artists and art enthusiasts alike. Hello, everyone. I'm waiting to see if we get some people coming on here. Um, uh, whether we have some people on here or not, the show must go on. We're going to stay consistent. And maybe you'll join along or you'll see the rebroadcast. But if you do come on, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm having me some coffee. You see, I got my little logo here. Boom. This is one of the prizes or one of the gifts that I give you know, uh, for donations. We print our own mugs and I print my own artwork here, right here at the studio. Probably wonder why I'm drinking coffee. I got a long night. I'm finishing up uh, some work that I'm doing. Um, I'm creating a puppet booth. Um, we have a puppet show coming up uh, this Sunday coming up. And uh, we've been preparing for a few weeks. I made the puppet booth. We have seven kids and they all um uh hold on a second let me get some music on here by the way i can't be in here without any music on but so they wrote their script first and then uh they made the background for their show um and then we were making the puppets and so this is the last week to make the puppets and they perform on sunday um, it's at the Arts Council of Princeton. This is it right here. 
And if you want like to go, just go on the uh, Arts Council of Princeton website <clears throat> and you can go there. They're asking for like a donation, I think, of like five dollars. This is the puppet booth that I'm making. It go, you can see it goes all the way up to the ceiling uh, in my studio. And uh, I got to finish later tonight painting the, the uh, happy and sad face uh, here. So, <laughs> but anyway, let me take that off and get back to, I want to get busy doing some painting. So again, if there's any questions, anybody have any questions as I go along, I started this um, the other day. And now I'm just coming in. I did this abstract background. Now I'm going to start working with a little bit of intentions on this. And I hope the lighting and everything is good um, here because I've tried to make it as best I you know, can. Um, I don't have my reading glasses on. But let me see something. If they're not smudged. Okay, it should be. It's pretty clear. But anyway. So what I want to start off with, I got my long handle brush. That's going to be second. But the next thing I'm going to start with are the gloves. I'm going to start putting some oil pastel on here. So I got to make sure I got my, my hands covered because you don't want to try to clean that off. It's like trying to get oil paint off your hands. So there we go. So I've already know what I'm doing with this right now. I sat and looked at it for a little bit. So now I'm just kind of doing a few things. So I'm going to step back a couple of times and then walk up and look. Um, I'm, I'm behind the camera right now because uh, I just want to look at it from a little bit of a distance as I start to put these marks where I'm putting them at. And as we go along, you'll see why I did certain marks in certain spots. Certain marks are just going to go in certain spots. Perfect right there. So just go on, listen to the music. I'm not going to talk your ear off. Turn it up a little bit. Okay. Let me see if there's somewhere else that I want something on here.
Hello, I'm not sure who joined. Thank you.
Okay, I see we got somebody on here right now. Again, I'm working through the process of starting to create. I started on this abstract two days ago, and now I'm gonna build on it. So I'm going to the next level with it. Get a bunch of brushes over here. I had the gloves on because I was dealing with oil pastel. I'm going to take them off. I don't like to paint with my gloves on.
I don't care if I get a little bit of this other paint on here. Because I'm going to be coming over with another coat of paint anyway. So I'm not really too concerned about that. Being an artist. It's fulfilling. Well, this is what came to me <laughs> as I pondered over this piece. Yep, yeah, this is what came to me. And I got a little it, like a little thing going on right here, but it's really nothing. If you remember from earlier, um, I used the technique and the method of putting the wax paper on and taking some of the paint off. And that's going to be the exact process that happens here again. But So that's why I'm not too concerned about the colors that are mixing right now. This is wet on wet. This is on purpose. This is all on purpose. Then I'll start to eventually form these little things. So, see, I got this here, here. Okay. Spreading and some of the paint will come with me when I take it off. Let me do the same thing down at the bottom here and with this brown piece up here.
Let's see, we got somebody watching. We're getting it together here. It slowly but surely comes together like a puzzle. Probably gonna be one more session before I'll be done. One more session.
I like to move fast. I want to stay loose. I don't want to be tight. <laughs> I don't want these lines to be straight. <laughs> That's just at all. See, I want to keep it nice and loose. I don't want this to be too tight. I'm coming back over with more layers on all of this stuff. So it doesn't matter what I'm really doing as much right now when I get to my finish point. Then we'll see what's going on. Right now, I'm just covering the canvas, making sure I get a lot of paint on here. that brush cleaned off. And I'm just covering the canvas. Body this will change. 
Keep it nice and loose. I have a painting right over here. <laughs> then we'll put the rest of this green on. Don't want to waste any of it. I always have a couple of paintings around that I can go right into with some of the leftover paint so I don't lose anything. So that's basically what I'm doing right here. Okay. Sipping some more of my coffee. It done got cold. Now I'm about to come up and I'm going to put the wax paper back on again. Put all my coffee in the microwave real quick, though. Those little green splotches will have their own <laughs> special uniqueness when I take it off for sure.
I didn't know if you heard the beat, <laughs> but it was deep in my coffee. But it's nice and piping hot. So I'm happy about that. Super happy about that. Real loose, not tight at all.
It's coming along good. I don't think we've had anybody before. If you're just coming on, this was the abstract from two days ago I did. And I decided to make a kind of funky abstract, you know, um, cityscape. I already have a collection of these. And so I'm building. And what this does is this multiple layers are going to go on this. And um, I'm at the point right now where I've kind of constructed the, uh, the buildings and things like that. That, and I'm just going to keep embellishing it, keep adding. Um, it's even going to get to the point where I put a little bit of a collage element in it as well. So, yes, stay tight. I'm going to keep moving with this. So, my next step. And this is just fun. I'm just using a lot of colors. Get a little bit of uh and I'm and I'm real loose with it. You notice I'm not really tight, I'm real loose. It doesn't matter if the colors overlap, they touch, all that stuff doesn't matter. 
This has got to be a free flowing painting. It's almost childlike and it's hard to kind of be loose because you want to get really tight in doing this. But uh, I'm going to maintain being loose. And, and the thing is to move fast too. Like I'm kind of making quick moves on here. Get my next color I'm going to mess with. Put some little orange dabs down here. The same little strokes I'm doing over there. I'm going to do a bunch of them over here. Just a few of them right here. And then I'll come back to them in a little bit. All right, next move, where is it? Okay, my next step, that green I just put down, now I'm gonna come over the top of that with Right back over there with a little yellow green mix. Right over top of those ones I had. I want these to be, look like some type of plants, or, but I don't want them to look like them. <laughs> I want it to kind of look like them. And so I'm keeping this moving. Notice this real quick. Again, I'm not spending a whole lot of time. It's got to be quick. And you'll see as I go further along and get towards the end of doing this. Oh. Real loose. <laughs> And quick. Let's see what type of time we're working it right now. Okay. All right. I just was going to shoot this video for about a good hour. I've hit my hour spot. Um, I see we got Malibu Ken there. Hold up. I ain't got my reading glasses on. I got to stop acting like I have to stop acting like I can see. <laughs> like this close. Okay. What's up, Malibu Ken? <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm enjoying doing this right now. Um, again, it was really abstracted yesterday. And you can see it's like, I want it to dry up a little bit right now. And uh, so I figured if I went in about a good hour, this is going to get so much more colorful. There's going to be so much more little details and things I'm going to put in here, like little bells and whistles. So I would say I'm about three quarters of the way done right now. So there's going to be one more uh, live that I'm going to do this to finish it up. So um, now if you'd like to support my channel, uh, let's see here. I'm sorry. I'm always doing these little public service announcements. <laughs> But you can donate via Venmo. You can just scan the QR code, Cash App, and Square. And for your donations of $50 plus, you get a, a framed print um, and also an 11-ounce mug with some of my art on it. 
for twenty dollars plus you get a free mug with my artwork on it or my logo for five dollars to nineteen dollars you get a free print that's for those who would like to donate and the reason why i travel around i'm doing um art uh documentaries i've already put some together i'm doing some art history i've already done a bunch of episodes of uh, with, with artist interviews and i have coming up which i'm going to show you on here i put in here these are the young ladies for the month of march i have five of the young ladies that are coming in like the end of february and into march and then at the very end of march we're going to have a discussion on women in art but these are the five young ladies that i have going for the month of, of march for um women's history month and uh so stay tuned all of the episodes that come 11 o'clock on um sundays they're live the episodes so let me see here i think that's pretty much it let me uh, show you my if you would like to follow me again it's kjl this this is my e email address is kjlartsanctuary at gmail.com. My website is kjlartsanctuary.com. Uh, let me take that off. And all of my podcasts are rebroadcast on KJL Art Sanctuary Podcast on YouTube. So it will be rebroadcast on there. It's streamed live on Facebook as well. And my Facebook art page, it streams there um, well. And again, thanks for watching. Like, don't forget to subscribe, you know, hit the like button, share my YouTube channel. I'm trying to build it. Uh, I'm in the early stages of development. And, uh, you know, we greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. So with that being said, follow me for the next episode. We're going to finish this up, the cityscape. And thanks for tuning in.